Why, hello everybody, Lego Dude 11 here, and today is another Lego Avengers Endgame set review. And today's set review happens to be the Avengers Compound Battle uh, set, which is um, $100 in the United States. And uh, I don't believe it's like $99, but still, it's $100. And it's really bad. I'm really mad about it. But because I still got this set, which looks awesome, but it drives me nuts that it's priced $100. So, there you go. Uh, but, without further ado, we're going to get into the minifigs and then the main build of the set, which this set is awesome. You should get this and add it to your collection if you don't have it already. And let's get to this. So, up first is the Ant-Man micro figure. And, um, it's okay. This is my first micro figure ever. No printing on the back here. Just printing on the front. And it looks cool that he's uh, in his Quantum Realm suit. Shrunken down to scale. So, um, yeah. So, uh, this, this is cool. This is the micro figure of Ant-Man. My first ever micro figure. We did get a micro figure in Civil War. But I don't have that one. I didn't get the airport battle set. Which I'm really frustrated. But at the time, it just... The cost was too much for me, but now I got these sets for Christmas and whatnot, so that's why. So here's the micro figure of Ant-Man. There's also one Outrider in this set, guys. Same Outrider from before, from Infinity War, and some of the ones from Endgame that we've seen, so I'm not going to talk much about it. It's just the same style of the uh, Outrider. Next up, we have Nebula in her Quantum Realm suit. So this is a pretty cool figure, um, except the only thing that's new is the head. I mean, this is just a Quantum Realm suit nebula, but I, I don't know. Like I've said before, many people are complaining, um, and me, about the everyone being in their Quantum Realm suits. Now, not everyone, Captain Marvel isn't, um, Hulk isn't, but they, did, they are making a new one with Hulk in his Quantum Realm suit, which is kind of meh to me. But the, the next figure, the next, um, well, no, the, the Iron Man figure isn't either. But, so yeah, the, the, the nebula is okay to be in a Quantum Realm suit because I guess we've technically gotten her in other attire before. So this isn't the first version of her we've seen, but it would have we've we would have liked to see her like with the orange thing on her face. That would have been better. Um so yeah, so there you go. There's my thoughts about Nebula. I mean this is this is a good head design, but the the head's only exclusive to this set. So there you go. And next up is Captain Marvel, and as you can see, she looks exactly the same from her set. This is like her little happy face, her little frown face, and her, the same hair piece. And as you can see, she comes with orange power blasts, and um, so yeah, those are some, those are her orange power blasts. And this is like a little circular disc, um, did that make any sense? A little disc at the bottom, um, where she can pretend to fly, so that's pretty cool. Some pretty cool stuff right there. Uh, maybe I should have, maybe I should have zoomed out. There we go, pretending, pretending to fly. So there we go. There's Captain Marvel for you. All right, guys. So here is the one, the only. Iron Man Mark 85 outfit. Now, as I showed you before in my video of um, uh, Iron Man or um, <coughs> Avengers and Avengers um, um, Iron Man, Captain America, Thor, and Black Widow video from all four Avengers movies. This one I showed you side by side. This one Mark 85 and Mark 50 side by side. And how that, they're a little bit similar, but they're a little bit different, too. The mask is, like, this exact same thing. The arms are both gold. Um, the, the arms here are gold, and the Mark 50 isn't. The legs and the uh, printing on here is similar, but it's very different. And the back is very different from the Mark 50 armor. So, um, just to let you know, this is a different armor. Um, or it does look different. He has blue power blasts, and that is basically Mark 85 of Iron Man. Up next is the um, brawn and the brains combined, and this is Mark Ruffalo v. Hulk. I do like that they added um, this little design on the pants here. Um, I don't know if you can see it here with this terrible blur on the camera. There we go. 
Um, are you kidding me? There we go. And um, there's like a little design on the pants there, blue, black line. And the hands move as well. It's basically just the face and the pants and the um, hair is updated a little bit from the Age of Ultron one. And um, I do like this Hulk a lot. So, yeah, I mean, it's much different from... The, uh, this, this is the only other Hulk I have besides I have the Age of Ultron, this one, and the Thor Ragnarok Hulk. And I have the two Thanoses and Call Obsidian. So those are the only ones, only uh, big figs I have in my collection. I don't have... I have the thing, but that's like a rip, uh, rip-off big fig rip off lego so uh, fake lego so yeah i do like this hawk overall it's really cool big fig so make sure you have it to your uh, add it to your collection now i saved the best for last everyone the mad titan himself thanos now if you're wondering hey where's the gauntlet um it is in this set um it's just stored away um in a safe place where i will show you where that is now he does have some armor on his on the side of him and this helmet design is the same from the helmet design is the same from um, Infinity War. This this is all new printing, and this um, armor right here is new as well, and this hammer is new as well, which he does not really use in the movie surprisingly, but they made it in the Lego set. So he uses a sword, which I don't know why they didn't give him a sword, but uh, yeah, I like the armor because he actually has that in Endgame, so I find that really cool. I like this new Thanos printing. And it's actually ridiculously awesome that they um, made this. So, I, I, I like the Thanos design. Many people were complaining about it. I don't know why. I think it looks accurate to the movie design. But uh, if you disagree with me, let me know why. And um, tell me. I would like to hear your thoughts. So, that's Thanos for you. And now we're going to get to the main part of this set. The main builds of this set. So first up is this car, which, which as you can see here has a A sticker right there, and I don't think these doors, I don't think the doors open, no. And then, did I mess up here? I don't think I did. But uh, anyway, these are supposed to, I might have messed up guys, I might have messed up. I think I totally messed up on this car, I was supposed to put more pieces here. And I totally messed up on that part. But, um, all things considered. There's an A right there and an A on that side. And the wheels spin. I really like this piece as well. Because it really looks unique to the Jeep. I mean, it looks like a the hood of a car. And it looks really cool. The This unique Lego piece to um, add more texture. Add more texture to the front of it. And there's some missiles on the back here. Some stud shooters there. Um, it can go push back you can push it back like that there's a license plate on the back and um nothing too much oh yeah i forgot about this cool piece as well this new like lego piece right here that makes it look really cool and there's a nice windshield and the front of the car looks really slick as well so i like that these pieces added right there so i'm going to try to fix this as well i don't know why i messed that up so there's the car build for you and then next up we have another build another helicopter build so this is where Nebula flies, uh, sits. She flies in here. She's the pilot, and I don't know why they wanted Nebula to be the pilot, because, um, they could have added Black Widow, or no, um, Captain Marvel. But, you know, hey, uh, to be fair, Nebula can always pilot a helicopter. So there the there are these little things right here with stickers, Nebula, Nebula's swords right there, a fire extinguisher if anything goes wrong. Which is always good. And I guess these things are like the jets or whatever. And the propeller. Spin the propeller. And then there are these little things as well. I don't know what the heck these are. But they do things I guess. They're like little. um, Not propellers. Like the um, wings I guess on the ends. And there's missiles right here. Missile launcher. And another sticker on that side. So that's good. And then that's basically the helicopter for you. So we're going to get to the rest of the set right now. Oops. Hold on. Nebula's not safe and strapped in. All right. Now we're set to go. First off, well, um, what we got in the set is we have this. This is like where the car would park. 
So uh, we have this sonar dish as well. This there's this little sonar dish build, which is pretty cool. Moves ups, ups and moves ups and downs, ups and downs, ups and downs. Uh, it moves ups and down, up and down. Woo wee! And there's we got this little cool like um like when a car comes in, it has the, this this thing pulls it up, and it's cool that can stay there. And then we got this awesome garage door function, so it goes up like that, and you can just simply pull it back down with your finger if you can get it. And then I love this feature. I love this garage door feature to play with, and it's so cool. So yeah, you can play with it, go up and down, and then also there are these little missiles up top here. There are these two missile launchers or four missile launchers up there, and then as well we also have or also there's a A pad right there. I guess that's like supposed to be the helipad. I'm not quite sure if that's supposed to be the helipad or not, but. Regardless, if it is, it is. If it isn't, it isn't. But over here, there's also um, some windows over here. There's a door. I totally forgot about that door. But there's also this can. Of, like, gasoline. There's, like, a gasoline thing. There's, like, a, a wrench right there. A crowbar and a... Um, um, a, a chainsaw right there. That's over there, and there's this door that opens, like I showed you just a second ago. There's some windows, and then there's a door that opens right there, which I totally forgot about. And I guess there's a secret code doohickey right there. So you gotta open it with the secret code. There we go. Turn that, and then turn this baby around. Um,. And then here's the another A logo right there. And then let's see, push this a bit. And as you can see right here, there's a secret compartment. What could this be? Oh, well, if we turn it back around. Oh, hello. The secret compartment is this with these little lasers and the infinity gauntlet. Now, as you can see, there's only two stones. Why is that? Well, you might be asking to yourself, why is that? Well, there's a uh, another LEGO Avengers Endgame set coming out this fall, and it will have the other four Infinity Stones, so keep an eye out for that. Now, there's this also, there's th these lasers here as well, and there's a secret code, or this little code, um, ac uh, like, keypad to access these lasers here, and then they'll shut down, and I forget how you... Um, oh yeah, you you just do that. You just move your move the lasers like that to pretend like beep boop beep boop. And then there's this computer here. There's this little cool computer as well um, to access like all your data and stuff to the Infinity Gauntlet. And also up here, there's a little snack bar. Um, you got or something. I don't know. There's like three little chairs. There's a chair right there in the back. A chair right there and a chair right there. And there's some coffee, uh, there's a bottle, three um, coffee glasses, and one little beer glass, or drinking glass. And then also, it also says... Wait, what? Whoa, whoa, whoa. It also says... Um, has an A, an Avengers A right there, as you just saw there, and then this is basically where you get through, I guess if you were supposed to walk um, up here, um, oh yeah, I forgot, you can walk, this is kind of like a transporter, like you turn it, and they, and, it, and they can walk that way, so you can turn it, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess they're supposed to turn around, but it's kind of difficult to turn it all around. And there's also a sticker. Right there. I think that's an Outrider and something else. I don't know what, what else is there. But let me know in the comments below if you know what else that is. So that'd be cool. And then, so yeah, there's just an empty space here to park the car. And then there's also just an empty space right here to park the car. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I guess that's it. Um, I really think that's it for you. And there's also up atop. 
there's also like these windows and whatnot so to look inside this way, which is really cool. And there's um, Avengers A right there as well. And also some two um, of these missiles up top right there. So that is it for you guys. The, this is the... Um, I'll be back with my final thoughts of this set in just a few minutes. Well, guys, that was the um, event. This was the Avengers Endgame, Lego Avengers Endgame, um, Avengers Compound Battle set. If you did enjoy it, don't forget to leave a like down below. If you um, have not already, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Lego Dude Eleven. Don't forget to leave a like if you did enjoy this. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you did um, and um, agree with my thoughts about the set? Let me know. If you didn't, uh, if you disagree with any of them, let me know. I'd love to hear your opinions. And uh, if you did agree or disagree with what I thought about this set, uh, leave a like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram at Boba Fit Jedi Master. Don't forget to like, subscribe, follow me. Don't forget to be awesome. Bye, everyone.